In this video, we'll see how to calculate the square root of a number without using square root method. So here we'll use binary search method. The idea here is first we'll see if the number n is perfect square or not. We'll do this with the help of a variable i. If the square of i equal to n, then i will be the square root of n. Otherwise, find the lowest value of i whose square is just greater than n. The square root of that number n then lies between i minus 1 and i. After performing these steps, we use the binary search algorithm to find the square root of a number up to n decimal places. And we'll increase the variable i by 1 until its value is not found. I hope you all know binary search. Let's see how we'll use it here. Firstly, we'll find the middle value of i minus 1 and i. Find the square of mid value and compare it with n. If square of mid value is equal to n, then the mid value is the square root of the given number. And also compare the square of mid value with n up to n decimal places. If the difference is minor, the mid value will be the square root of that number. Then if square of mid value is greater than n, the square root belongs to the first half that is from i minus 1 up to mid value. And if square of mid value is less than n, then the square root belongs to the second half that is from mid value up to i. And we will use a recursion to find the square in first or second half. So let's see in code. We'll create our method static double square root and it is num parameterized double num. Suppose our num is equal to 50, then we'll use helper variable i. So Let's initialize the helper variable i in i equal to 1. So we'll start from 1 checking if the square of i is equal to num or not. If it is not equal then we'll increase i by 1. Then checking for the next value of i until its square is just greater than n. So for n equal to 50 we'll start from 1 and check if 1 into 1 is equal to 50 so it's not equal to 50 so we'll increase i by 1 so i plus plus now i is 2 and we'll check 2 into 2 is equal to 50 or not so here it is not equal to 50 so we'll increase i now i is equal to 3 and 3 into 3 is not equal to 50 so we'll increase i again and at i equal to 7, 7 into 7 is equal to 49. So it is not equal to 50, but then we'll increase i and now i is equal to 8 and 8 into 8 is 64. So it is not equal to 50, but 64 is just greater than 50. So we'll stop here. Now we know the square root of 50 lies between 7 and 8. So we'll do binary search between 7 and 8. So let's start with while loop. While true. If i into i is equal to num, that is if i square is equal to num, then our square root is i. So return i. Else if i into i is greater than num, this is that lowest value of i whose square is just greater than n. Okay. So i into i is greater than num, then return. I'll use here another method. Let's name it find square root and it is num i minus 1 and 
i parameterized so this is a method we'll define it later on then after ending else if i'll increase i by 1 so i plus plus now let's define this method this method will find the square root using the binary search method so let's define it static double find square root this also returns double so double find square root and it has three parameters that is num i minus one and i so here double num comma double i comma double j in i the value of i will be initially i minus one and the value of j will be initially i okay later on these values will change then i'll initialize mid value so double mid equal to i plus j by 2 and now i'll use binary search so if mid into mid equal to num then return mid here i'll also compare the difference of square of mid value with n up to n decimal places so i'll use here or math.abs mid into mid minus num less than if the difference is less than let's say 0 0.00001 so if the difference is minor then we'll just return mid value and else if mid into mid greater than num then we'll return this method only find square root and i'll pass here num i and mid so here the square root belongs to the first half that is from i up to mid and else will return find square root num comma mid comma j so this is recursion a method calling itself okay now let's write the driver code scanner sc equal to new scanner system dot in I'll take the input as double value so double num equal to sc dot next double and I'll call square root method so square root num and we'll print it so system dot out dot print ln square root num okay so here in the question the output was given up to two decimal places so here i'll also take the output up to two decimal places okay so i'll use here format method of class string so string dot format and it takes two parameters format and arguments so the format is percent point two f and argument is square root the method okay so this will return the output up to two decimal places and let's import scanner class also so import java.util.scanner now let's see if the code is working or not so we'll compile it first java c square root dot java okay file is compiled successfully now let's run java square root so i'll enter here 2 okay we are getting 1.41 so we are getting up to two decimal places okay let's check for another input 
let's say 25 5.00 okay now let's check for 50 okay we are getting 7.07 .07. all right okay so that's it for this video we'll see more problems in the further videos thank you